Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Geminis. If you're praying, Geminis, stay prayed up. There's that sort of optimism in regards to you, Geminis. What's your plans, Geminis? Uh, what's, what's your focus as well? Let me upgrade you, Geminis. Let me upgrade you. So, uh, if you're praying, Geminis, say your prayers. Be thankful, be grateful, right? Whatever deity you choose to worship, or those of you, just be thankful, right? So, say your thanks. Page of Pentacles. There's like new opportunities in regards to you, Geminis. So, what is this? There's the, oh, the moon and the seven of one. Oh, yeah, the Piscean vibes. Ooh, Geminis. Uh, I don't feel like you're overwhelmed. I don't feel like uh, there's anything that's really sort of got you off balance. This is good. Stay hydrated. Stay moisturized, Geminis. This is like pH balanced, too. So take what's yours. Leave what's not. Definitely healthy boundaries in regards to that sort of Piscean energy. Pisces can be, it can be a very overwhelming. Or you could sort of uh, use it to bring that sort of healing vibe. So damn Gemini's, right? There's the full energy. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Page of Wands. There's the Judgment energy. Those of you Gemini's in regards to looking at things differently. Some of you Gemini's, this could be a little, uh, you could be looking at different sort of uh, ways to, it's almost like Eastern philosophy, uh, ways to sort of, Stay grounded, stay focused. This is like the sort of switch up in energy with you as well. Looking at things differently. Some of you Geminis could definitely be going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment or some sort of uh, looking at things from a different perspective. Doesn't have to be all that overwhelming, but it does sort of bring about this interesting switch up with you. It's definitely something new. There's the sun. There's that optimism. Trusting your intuition. Gemini's, I definitely feel like your intuition is on point. Whatever is sort of attracting your attention right now, that's who's getting it. That's what's getting it. There's that Virgo energy. There you are, Gemini's. Ooh. This is like attracting a lot of good vibes uh, as well in regards to you, Gemini's. Some of you, this could be meditation. This could just be uh, staying grounded and focused. Uh... It almost feels rather simplified. And then you got this sort of full vibe here. Those of you in regards to like uh, sacred geometry, crystals, anything along that line that sort of interests you. Uh, it's higher thinking in regards to you, Gemini. So those of you could be uh, looking at things in regards to religion, in regards to uh, philosophy. This is a very fun vibe for you. So hopefully you're feeling this good... Uh, some of you, this could just be a good spa day, right? Just focusing and concentrating on what is important to you. Especially what is attracting your attention right now, Geminis. There's the Scorpio. There's the Two of Swords. There's the King of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And over top of that, ooh. Those of you that pay attention to your astrology, those of you that's looking at your astrology different, those of you Geminis that's maybe focusing more on your Vedic astrology. Uh, I like this. This is also just, uh, Geminis, those of you that aren't like necessarily tapped into the sort of collective vibe as well. There's a lot of inspiration in regards to you, Geminis. So definitely stay inspired. Keep doing the work. Five of Pentacles here, pre-post-workout stretching, Gemini. Stay hydrated, stay moisturized. There's a lot of knowledge and growth in regards to this, Gemini. But I feel like you're that sort of neutral uh, energy here. So this could be good conversations. This is a good sort of way to look at things from a different perspective as well, Gemini. There could be a little bit of sort of religion or philosophy in regards to you, Geminis. Uh, so those of you, whatever is sort of catching your attention right now. 
it could be somewhat esoteric, but it's just a, it's a good sort of, what do you want to say? Concentrating energy. It's a good sort of inspiration energy too. So wherever you're getting your inspiration from, Gemini's, definitely a focus on sort of grounded energy. Page of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Some of you Gemini's could definitely be doing like some chakra alignment, some Reiki healing, uh, anything that sort of brings that balance in with you. There's that lovely Ace of Cups in regards to you. Eight of Wands, this is a good inspirational energy. There's the Leo energy, but we got the Leo vibes over here in regards to that King of Wands. So, damn Geminis. Then over here, you got the Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. This is definitely allowing that sort of change up. This is bringing about a good sort of vibe. So, this is almost like turning that frown upside down, Geminis. This is looking at things from a different perspective. This is a... There's a duality in regards to this. Some of you in regards to a relationship or partnership. Those of you Geminis who pull focus back on yourself. Those of you that's the, doing the work, right? Those of you in regards to working opportunities, that's switching up as well. So stay optimistic in regards to your dreams, Geminis. Those of you dreamers who achieve it. Geminis, a lot of you... You attract attention, Gemini. Some of you, this could be that sort of stuck stagnant energy in regards to you with the sort of Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, and that Page of Swords. So, Gemini, I feel like you're getting a lot of recognition because you have pulled focus back on yourself. This is loving yourself, giving to yourself, being very optimistic. There is that energy of patience in regards to you. There's that energy of inspiration in regards to you. So this could be work vibes, Geminis. This could be romantic. Whatever your sort of focus is. And I'm loving that Six of Pentacles. That Page of Pentacles there to that Six of Pentacles. So watch your favorite astrologer. Some of y'all could be doing some Reiki healing. Some of y'all looking at different things. Some of y'all just really good spa days. You're treating yourself. Staying moisturized, hydrated. That Pisces energy in regards to you really makes this work. It's um that Pisces energy is almost like uh oh my god them fancy spa treatments where they put you in them uh water tanks right where it's just like uh what do they call them oh fuck they were in Lady Gaga's video um bad romance. You're not so overwhelmed. It's kind of like a good clearing energy. So what the fuck is your inspiration now, Geminis? What is your inspiration? I do feel like you're single. I do feel like you're happily single. So what is this in regards to Geminis? What's your inspiration right now, though, Geminis? I don't think you're going to be sidetracked. What is this in regards to Geminis? 12, enter one step forward, one step onward. 18, listen in stillness to meet your true self. It is that sort of... Uh, be mindful of the energies that you tap the fuck into, right? Enter one step forward, one step onward. This is this could be that sort of switch up in regards to you, Gemini. So some of you could be looking at religion. Some of y'all could just be looking at the philosophy. Some of you could be just sort of looking at different esoteric ways to sort of bring that balance in. Whatever this is, you're going to find what works for you. There's that energy of like slowness as well, Gemini's. So take your time. I don't feel like you're rushed. There's a lot of inspiration in regards to you. So definitely what is inspiring you right now? 
There's that energy of a missed opportunity, but I don't feel like you missed out on anything, Gemini's. Someone could be feeling that in regards to you. This sort of cross-watcher vibe, right? So take what's yours, leave what's not, Gemini's. This is a complexity in regards to you, Gemini's. This is your duality is showing as well. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Definitely your intuition is on point. There's an optimism here too with the sun down there. The Knight of Swords. What's the inspiration with you, Gemini's? What is the inspiration in regards to you? Be grateful, be thankful. Those of you, if this is like a religious thing or a spiritual sort of awakening in regards to you, looking at different ways to sort of pull focus back on yourself. This is definitely learning to love yourself. So there should be a lot of forgiveness in regards to this, Gemini's. Whatever your inspiration is, it does speak on your duality. So stay inspired, Gemini's. I definitely think you do attract a lot of attention. You could be feeling that sort of hermit vibe. Uh, but you could also be learning. This could be in regards to you, whatever you're using to focus. Those of you Geminis, always learning, growing, understanding, right? This could just be philosophical in regards to you, Geminis. But there is that bit of theatrical flair to it as well. So, Geminis, right? Take what's yours, leave what's not. Those of you Geminis with strong Leo placement. I don't know. I love this energy with you, Geminis. Take what's yours and leave what's not. What is this Knight of Swords about? There's definitely a change in philosophy, a change in the way of looking at things, Geminis. Uh, it's a very fun vibe with you. You're going to find a way to make it very fun. That's for sure, Geminis. It's a good creative energy as well. What is this Knight of Swords in regards to Gemini's? Ooh, the Chariot. Definitely trust your intuition, Gemini's, because when the vibe is there, the vibe is there. But you need to pull focus back on yourself first. That's what makes the difference. Oh. So this is the power of optimism. Those of you Geminis in regards to relationships or partnerships, being very positive uh, in regards to dating, looking at things from a different uh, perspective. This is definitely learning to love again, learning to sort of open that heart chakra, learning to trust those of you. If this definitely has to do with uh, dating, relationships, partnerships, right? I definitely feel like you're single now. So that's what makes the difference. But allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to sort of uh, go on this journey. I do feel like this is a journey. Uh, feels like a journey of discovery for you, Gemini. Some of you, it could be religious. It could be just looking at things from a different perspective. Some of you figuring out different ways to sort of uh, keep you grounded and focused. Stay moisturized. Stay hydrated, Gemini's. Right? Wear your fucking sunscreen. Because you have the happiest card in the deck. This is the sort of energy that you're operating in. So it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So where's that optimism in regards to dating? Where's that optimism in regards to relationships or partnerships? Gemini, some of you, there is this sort of stuck, stagnant relationship or partnership over here. So do be mindful of that. You're definitely attracting attention. But you're basically down here doing your own thing. I don't think you're being overly passionate in regards to anything either, Gemini's. That's what's making the difference. You got the Scorpio vibes there. The Two of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Definitely trust your intuition. Whatever this sort of guidance energy is with you, Gemini's. Definitely watch your favorite astrologers. Or astrologer, Gemini's. A lot of you, this uh, blocks you from those sort of stuck, stagnant relationships. 
those of you in regards to five of cups those of you newly single those of you that's uh pulling focus back on yourself learning to pull focus back on yourself this is optimism what's your dreams what's your inspiration right now gemini's this is also that that power of positivity the king of pentacles is the nine of swords with the ten of wands so someone definitely feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you, Gemini's, because you're over here focused on yourself. This is definitely you looking good, feeling good, uh, showing up, showing out. The happiest card in the deck, Gemini's. That's the energy you're coming from. Very beautifully focused as well. So whatever you, whatever is guiding you right now, Gemini's. That's bringing you this beautiful healing energy. Mm. <laughs> Good luck. God bless Geminis. Take what's yours. Leave what's not. Watch your favorite astrologer. Trust your intuition. What's inspiring you right now too, Geminis. So take note of that as well. Mm. Good luck. God bless.